Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. All right, everybody. First things first. Got to say, guys, got to say, these are white monsters. This is the second one I've ever had in my entire life. And as opposed to the blue zero sugar monsters, these are just on another level. They're so good. They actually remind me a little bit of um, Solo, the lemon drink or Lyft in New Zealand. So they're fucking good. Zero calorie, 160 milligrams of caffeine per drink. Um, I will be continuing to buy them and drink them. Um, this video though is not about that. It is an update and weigh in because we are a total of five weeks out. Today is actually Monday, so it's not five weeks out. It's actually about four weeks and five days. So what's that? Five sevens, 35 minus two, you've got 33 days. 33 days until stage time. Am I ready? Absolutely not. Last week wasn't ideal. Um, I'll get into all that, but first of all, I'm going to have a weigh-in. It's not going to be a brand new low, which is very disappointing, but there are reasons behind that, which I will get into in a second. First of all, let's weigh in. Let's go. All right, guys. So this morning, well, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. I haven't eaten anything. I did eat quite a bit last night. It may have thrown it off as well as uh, the introduction of creatine back into my diet. That usually not only does it give me, you know, slightly better pumps, it also adds a couple of pounds, maybe three pounds onto the scale. So you never know. I may be leaner than last week, but I don't believe I am because my diet wasn't good. So yeah, this week I'm 196 pounds, which is 88 0.9 kilograms. Last week I was 193.2 pounds, which is 87.6 kilograms. That was a brand new low. I hadn't been under 88 kilos for the longest time. I think what that did subconsciously is it flicked a switch in my head saying that I could let off the pedal for a week, uh, which is pretty much what I did. I did, I did my usual meal prep, um, but what happens is I'll eat it too fast, to be honest. I mean, I can't really say too much about it. I've I've made up great meal prep meals with 50 grams of carbs, 50 grams of protein, and you know, very minimal fats, perfect macros, but I won't stick to the amount or I won't stick to the meal timing that I'm meant to. Um, I have been using intermittent fasting, so I'll fast some days up to two or three in the afternoon, and then I, 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 I do struggle. I struggle to rein it in at the end of the night. I'll make sure I have one or two pre-workout meals before I train, I'll go and train with weights, and then I'll eat the, the majority of my calories after I train. Um, that is when I get really hungry and you know, once again, subconsciously in my head, because I've had such a big fasting period, I will add a few things in and I don't count them. You know, my, my tracking wasn't perfect in the last week and with that being said, for the first five days, so we're talking Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, my macro tracking was absolutely perfect, but in saying that, the amount of food that I ate, as I said, was higher than I wanted. So my macros for the first five days of the week were 280 grams of protein, which is way too high, 350 grams of carbs, which is too high, and 70 grams of fat, which was pretty much ideal. Overall, my total calories were up around about the 3000 mark, uh, which is way too high. I'm not going to be shedding body fat, at least not at the rate that I need to, with that higher calories. So that wasn't ideal. Come Friday, Saturday and Sunday, I had complete days off tracking anything. If anything, I kept my protein up, carbs was up as well, fat I tried to keep to a minimum, but I, I really have no idea how many calories I consumed on those three days. Today is Monday, I have begun tracking again. As I said, I haven't eaten anything yet, but what I've done this morning is I've started some meal prep for the coming days. I've made 18 meals. Here is three examples. So I've made 18 meals. So with those 18 meals, the total macros for all of the food combined is 925 grams of protein, 382 grams of carbs, of which there's 154 grams of fiber and 64 grams of fat. So divide all of that by 18. You've got each meal has 323 calories. You've got 51 and a half grams of protein. 
21 and a half grams of carbs, of which 8.5 grams of fiber and 3.5 grams of fat. So those meals are absolutely on point uh, for cutting. I don't want to cut out carbs altogether, but I definitely want to bring them down. 350 grams is way too high. One of the reasons why I wasn't able to stick to my diet is because I got a package in the mail that I've been waiting for. When I was away in Thailand, I, just before I went, I ordered a shitload of fucking protein bars and all different types. I got Power Crunch bars, which have proven to be my Achilles heel. I really shouldn't have bought the amount of protein bars that I did, but last week, and I didn't track all of these, but I did go through an entire box of Power Crunch bars and an entire box of these Smart Carb um, sugar-free peanut butter crunch bars, which are delicious. This one is peanut butter cream. So obviously I've got a peanut butter fetish at the moment. I don't know what I'm doing, but I went through an entire box. I probably tracked half of them. So, you know, I told you my macros were 280 protein, 350 carb, and 70 fat, although well, probably higher, to be honest. I really let myself go this last week. I really don't know why or what happened exactly. I just really struggled with keeping my appetite under control, especially at night, especially post-training. And obviously seeing the scales jump up uh, was, was not the nicest thing to see. It sort of put me in a headspace where I have, you know, mixed emotions about competing at the moment because I'm at a point now where I've got absolutely no choice but to really fucking knuckle down and grind, you know what I mean? So basically I've got myself to this point, let me have a drink here. I've got myself to this point, I'm, I'm fairly lean. Look, I don't know if I'm under 10% body fat. I, I feel like I've gone backwards this week, but like I said before, I've added in creatine. Creatine is something that will fuck with my head when I diet. I don't know if it really causes too much bloating to be honest, but as far as you know, seeing a brand new low, I, w I, was, I was literally telling myself not to take creatine because, because I didn't want to see the scales go up. And that is absolutely ridiculous. Being a natural lifter, coming into these last few weeks when I'm going to get leaner than I ever have before, I want to, I want to maintain as much size and as much mass as possible. And creatine is going to be you know, one of the things that's going to allow me to do that. It's going to increase performance. It's going to increase size. Um, when I go and pump up backstage at my show, I want creatine to be running through my system, you know? With that being said, I've gone and trained back and biceps today. Not only did I have three days off tracking macros, I also had three complete days off the gym. Um, on Thursday, I, I felt as if I may have injured my elbow, which was not a good feeling at all. It was quite worrying. So what I did was take some rest. I didn't try and push it. I really did want to train, but you know, I could have trained legs, but at the end of the day, I trained legs on the Wednesday, and on that day as well, I felt something go in my groin. And it's just basically, it's getting lean, you know? It's, it's trying to push through heavy workouts with not enough nutrition running through your body. And eventually, you're gonna fucking get injured. So that, you know, puts these thoughts in my head again, thinking, is it really worth it? But then I've got my mate down in Adelaide who we've been sort of prepping together, motivating each other, and he's you know he's still trying to motivate me he's he's shredded as fuck we're we're you know nearly four and a half weeks out and he is shredded I, I really do believe he could step on stage within a week and that is the point that I wanted to get to I really wanted to get ready at least two weeks before the show and eat up into the show actually raise my calories into the show so I don't have to worry about trying to peak on a particular day I'll just be basically rolling straight into the show like it was any other day that would be the ideal scenario what I've found myself in at the moment is a scenario where I've got absolutely no choice but to do some drastic things to make the stage in time like I've said before I'm not going to jump up there if I'm not ready and um, you know only time will tell so as I said I've got all those meals made up I do have some protein bars that are low in carb, low in fat, high in protein to satisfy my sweet cravings. I have been having a lot of mixed berries, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, uh, blueberries, all sorts of berries because they have a lot of volume to them with fairly low calories. So that, that's going to be something I'm going to have to heavily utilize is volume foods, things like chickpeas for example, vegetables, you know, lean protein sources 
things that I can have a lot of for fairly low calories and stick to those macros that I've told you guys. So actually I haven't told you the current macros that I'm going to be trying to stick to, which will be 250 protein, 200 carb and 60 fat. I do believe 60 fat is, is getting towards the low end for me personally. I don't want to go anything below that just yet. It may get below that if I need to, but you know, I'll, I'll see you guys in another week on Saturday at four weeks out. We'll see what my weight's doing. I think the creatine in my system will have sort of stabilized. Your body does sort of self-regulate with creatine. That's what I've found. So, you know, I might I might see myself, you know, going back down to the 193s, um, even even lower maybe. Definitely, if I stick to this lower carb diet, the excess water weight is going to be flushed out immediately. Basically, you know, one or two days that'll be gone, and I should get a brand new low. So let's see what happens. It's all up to me now. I've got no choice, like I said, but to fucking grind hard. This is what I love to do. This is what I preach. I can't be a dreamer anymore. I have to step up and I have to do what I talk about. I have to I have to walk the walk. I can't just talk the talk anymore. I've got to fucking walk the walk. So I'm looking forward to it. I had a good workout today. I don't care about what I see on the scales. I know that if I stick to these macros, I'm going to shed the fat. I'm going to shed the water weight. I won't weigh myself until this time next week or Saturday next week, which will be very interesting. I'm going to stay completely off the scales, but I'm going to track everything. So it'll be good for my headspace, I think. But in the meantime, guys, have a great week. I will too. I'm well and truly back into work right now. I think I've got two days off in the next fortnight, which is going to be a, a stretch. It's going to be a struggle. I'm trying to have a good life-work balance at the moment. I did go out on Saturday night. I, I said to myself, you know, not only am I not going to go to the gym, not going to track anything, on Saturday night I had a few drinks. That's going to be my last drink until, until the stage. I don't even like drinking, to be honest. It was great to go out and see the guys. It was for a birthday. It was awesome. But... Drinking isn't really for me. Like you guys know, I have a smoke every now and then, which also can affect my appetite. So with that being said, I'm going to try and cut that out as well. Probably be relying on things like this uh, more often because they are nice and they do give me a kick and they don't have too much caffeine so I can have at least a couple a day, which I do. So until next time, guys, until next Saturday or until this Saturday, that is me. That's how the bicep's looking. Jacob McDonald, Alice Springs, Northern Territory, born in New Zealand, living in Australia. I want to be a pro natural bodybuilder. This show is going to be the start of my journey in the INBA to the PNBA, which means Professional Natural Bodybuilding Association, not International Natural Bodybuilding Association. That is the goal. We've got less than five weeks to fucking start the ball rolling, so I can't wait until, until then. I'll see you guys. Have a great one. Peace.